Capricorn, the sun is in your second house. Accept people's help. That's your way to money, reaching out, community. How does it work for everybody? How does it help everybody? How, how do my ideas bring people up, help people, as well as different ideas since Mercury is there now? as well as different ideas on how to bring it to the masses, probably for a lower cost, just saying. But now's the time to start thinking of that stuff. The full moon is tonight as I'm recording this, tonight, tomorrow, depending on where you guys are in the world. Um, for most of it's happening, or most of us it's happening early in the morning and that full moon is in Leo. So how has the self, so it's in your, oh, hold up eighth house. It's in your eighth house. Your seventh house is Cancer. Um, how is, oh, eighth house. Gosh, gosh. That could mean a lot of things start coming up. Yeah. And this could bring out a huge chance to, uh, like, uh, be reborn. For that yourself to be reborn. Sort of out of the ashes of, whatever popular notion um, was overwhelming you or that you kind of got buried behind. This is the time to assert your, in, like, um, not authority. It's almost like to ass assert your certainty, even if it isn't backed by popular opinion, but show people how it is and needs to be popular. Show everybody how it works for them, even if it's not something they would expect to work. It's your time to let yourself rise and come up. It's time for you to come up, Capricorn. Oh, you ready? Capricorn, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And there's always an extended reading. There's always an option to the extended reading now too because I have my memberships and I hope you'll join. You can get the Courage, the Harmony, or the Unbound. The Harmony and Up includes um, at least one live session, uh, live, live, live chat open for members only where you can ask me anything and I'll, and I'll do tarot card readings for you for free. Well, for the membership cost. Um, and of course, the Unbound membership also includes all full access to the extensions, the extent, the extensions, <laughs> the extended readings, Capricorn. So you'll get access to all of them as well as more than one, two unbound specific uh, sessions with me. So that is 100% something you could look forward to with the unbound membership too. I hope that you will join. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your tarot card reading. It's been some kind of day, man. You ready? What are you willing to, what are you not willing? Yeah, what are you willing to let go of? What are you, what are you ready to let go of? Because it doesn't make any sense, because it's the full moon, Capricorns, but it doesn't make any sense to force ourselves to let go of anything. But what are you ready to let go of? What even parts of the ego do you realize have become arrogance instead of a true, representation of the self or have hid those aspects of yourself. This is the time to release those and to not be quiet about it, to definitely demand attention for it. It's the time when you decide um, that you deserve to be seen right now without having to wait or force yourself to practically kill yourself to do it. Watch your words. What is this? Honestly, when I saw this, it was just like, watch your word. Stop. Oh, it irritates me. This concept of watch your words. Why? Why should I watch my words? Why should you guys watch your words? Why? Or have you been watching your words? Yeah. Yeah. Have you been watching your words? You've been watching your words for what reason? To be, to look a certain way, to come off as mature and adult. Be fearless and bold here. 
Come out and say it. Come out and be it. Come out and live it. You have the energy to do so, Capricorn. Watch your words, my ass. Clear out the clutter is here, but you don't want to. You're holding on to something. You're holding on to something. You're holding on to your power. Maybe you're doing this on purpose. So if that's your strategy, that's your strategy. But it seems like you're holding on to your power and you're disabling it by holding on to it and that you know you have a fierceness and you know you have a ferocity but you've decided instead to not say what you feel because in some ways either you or people are not ready to hear it but it is clogging up your energy it is clogging you up because where we hold back in one aspects of our life in one aspect of our life ends up clogging other aspects of our life and that's something that i don't think a lot of people understand that um if we are holding back and cutting off part of our energy then it's going to start to affect even the things you don't want to you don't want it to interfere because there's just less energy in general and then we have this and that are true also in reverse you don't really see things this way or somebody doesn't really see things this way. They don't really see things your way. They don't really see your side of the story. And you've been very diplomatic about the way that you address this. You have been very tiptoe around -y, the situation, right? You've been holding something back. In both regards, this is a sense of uh, disagreement or dissonance that's been held on to. Snake, it's time to heal. Ooh, what is the time to heal? 55, 5, 5. It's like you've had enough. You're done. You've had enough. Um, time to heal. There's poison here. And now this, this is like the twisting and churning in the gut, the kundalini, the kundalini. It's really toxic. But if released in the correct way, it is, it is life-changing. Um, but there are toxins here, almost bits and pieces maybe of yourself that you have locked away. So this is a good time. Remember, Leo, the sun, Leo, the, the full moon in Leo is in your eighth house. This is where we lock away things that we want to hide. Those things that are overindulgent. We, 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 we almost um, vilify these aspects of ourselves. We send it down to hell, right? Kill it destroy it don't don't acknowledge that it exists bury it right no it wants to come up trust in divine detours is in reverse so there's something going on here capricorn where you just not willing to innate, allow yourself to be exactly who you are or you don't feel like you can be trust in divine detours you you this is the this is the challenge um, you want you don't you don't want to you don't want the movement you don't want the motion you want to stay exactly where you are but you don't get to decide that I'm just gonna let you know that there's something about divinity at work here and if you hold yourself back there's some there's definitely I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with you could always flip this energy but ultimately there's just a sense of something being held back because it's insisting I don't want to change it's a resistance to change I don't want to change I don't want to change I don't want to ch I don't want to say this I don't want, I don't want people to know what I really think but it's coming it's like for you more than anybody I've read for I did in Scorpio Sagittarius Libra so far you there's something building here that feels like there's going to be an explosion because somebody's trying to be too level on top. Capricorn. 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 Life is a mystery, eighth house. Oh, you think? You think? And this is where your full moon is happening in your eighth house. There are masks here. Disguises. And there you can hide a lot in the underworld. Because there's a lot of distraction there too. Because there's a lot of indulgence. But ultimately, there is this unknown. Okay, so what's the unknown? Life is a mystery. 
What are you hiding from yourself? What is somebody hiding? Like there's somebody not telling the truth to themselves. Kisses. Kisses. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. What happened? This is in the past. So I'm going to ask you right now. What happened to you, new moon in Leo? What happened to you? That would have been six months ago. What What's going on? It was would have been in the middle of Leo season in 2021. What was going on? I want you to think back to then because there's something here that's been buried since then, building since then, and it's about to burst. Take a leap of faith is what's coming out. I don't know what that means, but we're going to get to it. I'm going to continue because I, I want to understand. There has been a stop. Trust in divine detours, but somebody hasn't wanted to. There's been a block. Take a leap of faith. In other words, now it's just going to have to. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. What are you going to go for? What, what, is, what are they going to go for? Third eye chakra. It's clouded here. No, it's basically confirming. You can't see this. And maybe that's what's bothering you. I can't see it. I can't see it. Of course not. Your full moon is in Leo, your eighth house. I can't see it. I can't see it is what I keep hearing. This isn't something you can see. Because it's not real yet. You have to make it real. This is something that you have to create. This is only something that you can feel in your heart right now and you have to take the steps forward to do it. Yeah, that's what it's saying. 100% your message for this week is you have to just trust. And it may have something to do with spiritual union. This could also be that there's a union or a connection or a partnership, depending on what, you know, what level you're functioning on right now, um, that's coming into your life in the future. I'll get the timestamp for you over in the extended. But ultimately, this is a sense of you don't see it happening now or you just if you are in a relationship, you just have to trust it or trust the person that you're with. You're not going to see it. You just have to have faith. This is blind faith. And that's a tall order for you. But remember, this is a weekly reading. Right? Serendipity. I love you too, baby. Serendipity. That means there's perfect synchronicity and timing at play here. And that it's going to bring a great deal of fortune to you. Watch the synchronicities. Pay attention to the synchronicities. That's, I think... Part of the message is that's how spirit will be communicating to you. I know I did a recording. I think it was Sagittarius. Somebody last uh, yesterday was watch the animal totems, right? For you, it's watch the synchronicities. Like how are things lining up? And this could also be serendipity, like um, coming together at just the right time. Everything happening at just the right time. The right partner coming into your life at just the right time. So proceed. Don't hold back. Proceed in faith. Even though you, you're not guaranteed anything yet. Protection guardian. Drop your shields. You're protected. I know you may not feel that way. But you are. Now we have this. Wait. We have protection guardian, drop your shields. And then we have medicine guardian, be open to healing information. Whoa. So let down your guard. Let yourself be open to some sort of medical advice or some sort of counseling that's, that you're trying to get underway or that you need. Let yourself do this. Or you're trying to encourage somebody else to get help right? But it's also a sense of be aware of the help that you need as well, of where your health needs to be paid attention to. And I think you already know it. This is just a sense of trust it, have faith in it. You already know it. The timing is in, in sync. It's, it's perfect now. It's, like, it's perfect now to go for it. I don't know. Somebody needs to hear that, but it's perfect now to go for it. What are you going for? What are you going for? 
Ooh, Capricorn. That's not it. I wonder what you're going for. Like, what is what is what are they going for? What are they going for? Drop your shields. Cooperation again. There's a partnership coming into your life. There's a, there's a relinquishing your own personal control, um, holding back your words, not saying anything and wondering what's going to happen because you are trying to trust your partner, some, some partner that's in your life. This is trusting. This isn't just blind trust or trusting in God. This is trusting in somebody. That's what God is, is asking you to do right now is trust in somebody. Why? Who is this so, somebody and why are they so important? Who is this somebody and why are they so important? Capricorn. Okay. This is in the past. Something in the past came out. Hold on. Hold on. Turkey, give with gratitude and grace. If you feel like you didn't uh, give enough to this person, or you feel like you weren't enough for this person, or you weren't as impressive as you wanted to be, you didn't impress them enough. Um, something about not being impressed enough or feeling like not enough enough was given to this circumstance. Um, act as if chameleon spirit. So this is this is in the past uh, underlying all of this energy. Did you give somebody up? Did you give somebody away? Did you like call somebody out? Or maybe... Um, not say something or not do something when you had the chance? No, because it's in reverse. This is a sense of maybe distracting. Oh, I understand. Stop, stop, stop. You used to have confidence in this. Oh, thank God. This is this. You used to have confidence in this aspect of yourself. You used to not doubt this part of yourself at all. But there's just this sense of now you've stopped believing in it because you, you've, you've held back your energy for the sake of somebody else. For the sake of somebody else. Now, it doesn't have to be for a bad thing a lot of times. For example, a lot of times parents do this for their children, right? 18 years goes by, they put their kids first. And now all of a sudden it's time, put yourself first. You used to have so much confidence here, but you, you, let it, you let it fall back because your attention was to somebody else. A lot of times people do this when they get into relationships, caring about their partner's needs, asking about their partner's needs. It's all about the other person. And then where does all the stuff that I used to be interested in come in? Where does all the stuff that I used to really desire? This is when you see that again. It mysteriously all of a sudden comes up. And how is it going to come up? It's going to come up in a partnership with somebody. You're going to meet the perfect partner for you. You're going to meet that connection or that person that can do um, or that will reinvigorate or remind you. It could even be a reminder like you see somebody else doing it. Something that you've always wanted to achieve. You see them doing it. And now you don't just see them doing it on TV. You see them doing it in your real life. You see somebody. You recognize that somebody is making your dreams come true. It's just not you. This is a motivational factor. This is done to motivate you. Because this has been lying in wait for too long. Help me understand a little bit more. And what is this spiritual union here? There's a lot for you to let go of. Manifest. Maybe even manifesting some sort of partnership. Because that's what came, came out. You've been working on this. You've been wanting this. This, this is definitely something that, that you are going after. And then we have, what, what did I tell you? It's all about your energy and where you're placing your energy. Protection guardian and be open to healing. Drop your shields and be open to healing. 56, this is 11. 
but it's kind of skewed. Just like the third eye chakra is here. You've forgotten that you had this power. You've forgotten that you had this ability. You're about to come into connection with somebody who's going to absolutely suck it out of you, drag it out of you, bring it out of you. This partnership is happening. I'm telling you, you've manifested it. It's presenting itself to you. It's, it's happening. When is it happening? Let's go to tarot. I will hope to see you there. Bye, guys.